Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance, a full service corporate securities and business transactions law firm. Today is a continuation in a LawCast series talking about the recent change to allow all companies to file confidential registration statements. The SEC recently expanded the ability to file confidential registration statements for all companies completing an initial public offering a secondary or follow-on offering made within the first year after a company becomes publicly reporting, and for Section 12B Exchange Act registration statements. The ability to file confidential registration statements has previously been limited to emerging growth companies or EGCs and companies filing initial, initial offering circulars for the first time under Regulation A+. Confidential submissions to the SEC are completed by choosing a confidential setting in the EDGAR system. The EDGAR Filing Manual has detailed instructions for filing confidential draft registration statements that were put into place for EGCs, but which instructions can now be followed by all companies for confidential submissions. The SEC will update the EDGAR Manual at some point to conform the language for the new policy covering all companies. To satisfy the requirement to publicly file the previous confidential information, the company can file all prior confidential information as an exhibit to its non-confidential filing, or it can change the setting in the EDGAR system in its prior filings from confidential to public. In the event the company chooses to change its EDGAR setting to public, it would not have to refile all prior confidential material as an exhibit to a new filing. A confidential registration statement is subject to the same rules related to content and financial statements as a public filing. For example, if the company would be able to omit historical financial statements pursuant to the provisions of Section 71003 of the FAST Act, they could also do so in the confidential submission. However, confidential filings are not required to be signed by the company officers or directors. Public filings are. Also, filing fees for registrations are not due until a public registration statement is filed. I'm securities attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance and producer of LawCast. Should you have any questions about today's topic, please visit securitieslawblog.com and lawcast.com or contact me directly. Inquiries of a technical nature are always encouraged.